I don't know what I can do if I'm that far forward. Maybe, I, I think if I dodge backwards or, like, left. Because then when I dodge the blade, maybe the explosions are just delayed enough. I don't know. That was my bad. Sucked in phase one. I shouldn't be taking that hit in phase one. Is what it comes down to. And it's so consistent, and it's really annoying. And I think I'm just getting greedy, is what it comes down to. But I think overall I had really good reads that last attempt. Almost forgot what to press. Gotta be close. Really? There we go. Just keep playing it safe. We know phase. Phase 2 downward. I know. I can't. Shouldn't be taking a hit here. Tried to mess me up there. Play it safe. I 
delayed that last one too long. Wow, that hit. That's crazy. No, that sucks. I should have teleported for safety. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Phase three. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, now you tell me? I had hoped it would not come to this. Come to what? Hey. Hey! There's gotta be a way. Oh my what goodness. are we doing here if there isn't a goddamn way? Only two out come for me. The corruption consumes us all. Or... Keep! What's going on? Why... Why isn't it staying dead? The corruption is violent. The demon is no longer a viable option. The only outcome left is... Annihilation. To eradicate the corruption. The system must be restored. Okay. What the hell does that mean? It means wiping everything. Starting over. I'm so worried. Because I think this is ads. But 
but I we don't think they target no me. Choice. The root will destroy Even then, I think I heal right away so I can get a decoy out. For all time. This is unexpected. I am reluctant to execute. Another way. I'm so worried. Traveler! On me! Alright. Clementine! Whoa, 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 put that gun away. Oh my gosh, it actually equipped a gun, didn't it? Did I do it? Please tell me. I did it! Oh my goodness, I did it! Yes! It's over! I think that was a no-hit attempt, too. I don't think I took a hit. I don't think my challenger perk popped. I, I, I'm not certain about that. I can't remember. I know I still had it in phase three though. Or like phase two and a half, whatever it was. Oh. The, the hardest part of it was, was how greedy I was getting. I think it was just so easy to get greedy. And positioning in phase two. Whenever I was in the phase two part of phase three, positioning on like the five explosion attacks, that was probably the hardest part. letting the credits roll what rings am i using i'll show the build after credits um main ones uh by something what is it bisected ring which gives me infinite stamina and increased i i take increased damage by 15% um what's the second one the second one is restriction band which locks me at 50 percent hp which tied with my amulet my amulet was no 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 it ties with my mutator on my axe which at 50% I get 50% melee damage and I think 10% melee crit chance. So that's why we wear restriction band. Third ring was I can't remember the name. It gives bleed damage. I think it was 620 damage for every melee charged attack over 20 seconds. So so actually I don't think I need to worry about regenerator almost like ever. Because as long as that bleed was ticking, 
that probably nullified the the regenerator i was kind of worried about that but i i don't think i need to be and then the fourth wing is the flyweight's sting which um the lower my armor encumbrance it would increase my melee damage and so at zero armor it was maxed out for the damage I think that was 25% damage increase. I don't think this is my hardest challenge. I still think uh, Sekiro Sword Saint Ishin no no attack uh, the deflect only run. I still think that is the hardest challenge I've done. Very similar in the sense that it was three phases. Sword Saint Nation was three phases, right? Two and then Genichiro? I think so, yeah. Um, but that fight, you had to be so much more. You had to be right in his face the whole time. And any time he decided, it, it was such a judgment call. If he decided to stand around, you had to know to jump and kick him in the face so that his posture bar wouldn't start draining immediately. Which, to be fair, is, you know, it's damage, right? Kicking them does very slight damage, and that sort of adds up over time. But I would still call that deflect only because it it probably wasn't enough to matter for the posture bar. But I didn't do that no HUD. I think... For this challenge, no HUD added the stress of not knowing where I was in the fight. And I think that's the main difficulty of no HUD, is not seeing boss health bars. Not knowing how far in you are, you kind of just have to keep calm the whole fight and just not worry about where you are in it. Obviously, it was nice going and looking and seeing that if he starts switching between the phases, that's one quarter of his health gone. And if he starts using his super move, he's hit half health. Those are good indicators just so I know how much is left. Even though that sort of starts me getting greedy, but at the same time I felt like that was me getting... Me telling myself to be more patient so that I didn't psych myself out and just kind of keep riding it out until I get the last hit. It really is crazy to me, because I, I thought this was going to be like a week-long challenge. I got very lucky that it didn't get elemental resist. I've got to go back to see what the... So it had regenerator, and I'm trying to think of what the other mutator was.
spiteful. What's spiteful? <laughs> spiteful. Boss deals 0 to 25% more damage the less health they have. <laughs> so that didn't matter. It, it ended up... Regenerator was the only thing I needed to worry about. But thinking about how much the bleed was doing, I don't think Regenerator ever needed to be a problem. Though I wonder... Let's see. It's powerful health regeneration to the boss, so it doesn't say if it, like, kicks in at any certain time. I don't think I had to worry about it too much, if at all. If anything, the bleed was countering it to where his health was staying the same. And to me, that's pretty much the same as not it not doing anything. After having done this solo, and uh, and knowing that this boss tends to get a lot of hate, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's a really good boss fight. I think the attacks... Oh, is this the uh, after credits scene? We get to see it with my character. Yeah, I I think the the attacks are are really well telegraphed. I think everything is really clear in the fight. I think the main issue with it is in multiplayer. And that's most that's most bosses just not being able to tell like who who it's targeting. That's like every game like this. That's the hard part of multiplayer is not knowing who the attacks are targeting. And so it ends up like switching between or like turning all the way around and hitting someone. It's a really well designed boss. There, there's something with how they have the game update. But we're here. This was the build. This was the build. Here's the stats. That's the heart I was using. The axe. Here's what I had for these. And the traits. Which apparently, <laughs> I didn't spend all my points. I was running with a lower endurance than usual. I guess that doesn't really matter when I had infinite stamina anyway. I actually, knowing I was using the ring, I probably could have put these points somewhere else. But... Why was I upgrading this? This is useless to me. Alright. This was supposed to be in this, I think. I think I clicked on the wrong one. 